So, George W. Bush's presidency was plagued by... Well, a lot now that I think about it, but I was actually going to mention his stupid things that he constantly said, all the different gaffes that he made. I mean, I get it. There's also him being a massive war hawk who didn't care about the privacy rights of Americans. Okay, there's, there's a lot, but I'm not going down that road on this particular video. I want to draw your eye instead to a recent uh, presentation he was doing in which he made what has been referred to online as a gaffe. But I think there's actually more to it than other people are pointing out. So we're going to go through this uh, together for just a few seconds. In contrast, Russian elections are rigged. So in contrast to what? Okay, okay I'll stop. Political opponents are imprisoned or other. January 6th. Otherwise eliminated from participating in the electoral process. The result is an absence of checks and balances in Russia and the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Iraq, too. Anyway. Uh. Okay. And, and, there, and there we have it a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. So, you know, naturally you have people pointing out the obvious, that he was admitting to committing war crimes over in Iraq, to sending us, sending our troops over to uh, invade in an unjustified and brutal way. All of that is true, of course, and not that revelatory to any of us. I mean, it's unusual to have somebody, including an ex-president, admit to it, but it's what most of us had come to the conclusion of at one point in time. What I found most interesting though is the fact that did you see the way his indignation just stopped for a minute? Because it was fake. And that's the thing when it comes to this whole topic of Ukraine and the battle between Russia and Ukraine and so on. All these politicians and pundits, they're faking it. They're faking their degree of outrage and indignation because suddenly he's talking about the brutal invasion and then, oh, of Iraq, and now it's funny because now he's talking about his invasion and the American troops that he sent to their deaths and the uh, innocent Iraqis, including many of them Christians, who were, who were murdered in that. Um, is Now it's funny, but it wasn't funny when he was talking about Ukraine because then, then he was pious. And then he was, he was being the, the good guy who was indignant against those over there in Russia. And that's the part that I think people need to pay more attention to is these people show us intermittently who they really are and what they really care about and what they don't. And they don't care about Ukraine. That's not something they, they have a bunch of moral outrage for. Bush isn't alone on that. This is just them playing the role that they're supposed to play in the current saga.